The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So the Bible tells us. But the earth has been defiled from the time of Noah and it is still being defiled. Remember that God wants clear the earth with water. And also remember that he says the next time it will be with fire. Repent, O ye people. Repent. Iniquity has abounded long enough in this nation. God has shown us what we can do to experience peace and tranquility in our nation. But the country is awash with so many bad eggs. Proverbs 14.34 says, Righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. And Proverbs 11.11 11 says, By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. There are too many wicked people in this nation. That is why you and I must pray for Nigeria. Isaiah 10 verse 1 says, Woe betide those who enact unjust laws and draft oppressive edicts, depriving the poor of justice robbing the weakest of my people of their rights there are people in places of authority today who are using their positions to destabilize this country to cause chaos and the nation is the worst for it in the book of joshua chapter 7 there is a story of a man named Achan, whose singular sin Cause the whole nation of Israel shame and defeat at I. Achan and his family, his possessions, and those things he coveted were brought to the valley of Akor, where they were stoned to death. There are many Achans in our society today, greedy and covetous individuals who bring curses upon the nation by their actions. Those who steal government money, the 419ers, Yahoo Yahoo boys and girls, are all in this category. May God have mercy upon us. Our land is full of bad eggs. But Lord has an opportunity to salvage this land. Repent, people of our land. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, and let us salvage this land. Repent of your sins, and serve the Lord. Repent ye! Repent! Repent! Father in the Lord, right from when I was young, I have heard the same words you were preaching. Hmm. So other people still have heard. But the world is getting perverted by the day. Even more worse things are happening in the nation. Like lesbianism, homosexualism, bribery and corruption even prostitution, just to mention a few. Hmm. But they even quote the Bible wrongly in order to encourage such cases. They say, give what Caesar to Caesar. But, Father in the Lord, how do we preach to those who understand the Bible who have even chosen to turn it to suit their case. It's like selling to a man what he already has. The difference here is that um, he doesn't know the actual use of what he has.
others. Yes, yes mother. What you say is true. But that should not deter us from preaching the gospel. Remember, everyone has to give an account of his stewardship at the very end. Yes, Father. Even if I will say so. I wish I were to tell you that. I wish I were young again. I wish these frail legs could carry me further. Then I would preach the gospel to every corner of this earth. Father in the Lord, with your strength, your zeal, and this is your age, this is what it is. Young man, you are young. You can do exploits for the Lord. Remember what he said, that if we humans do not praise him, he will raise even these stones to praise him. Yes, Father. I wish I were still young. I woke up this morning and was shocked to see the headlines on the day. Osaze Gogo murdered in his office. This is most despicable and above all very scary. In that case, no one is safe within the confines of this well-guarded office. Exactly. I mean, I mean, if this kind of calamity can befall one of us, it simply means that um, our lives are not safe here. Who could these perpetrators be? Anyway, that's where we are. This young man from the homicide division sent to us here. Um, Mr. Mustafa, once again, you're welcome. Thank you. And so, what can you make of this? Honestly, it's shocking because I have gone around the whole building. There's no breaking. Uh, in that case, then it must be an, an assassination. And more disturbing is that the security men at the gate claims not to know when the patriot was entered. Um, I'm sorry, I think it's any house operation. I'm inside the operation. Because the security men have refused to say something. And that is why I strongly believe there's a strong force behind us. And we need to know who we have to Wait, 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 wait. Um, every now and then we we disagree yeah, about matters. Yes. To, 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 to agree at the end of the day in this conference. That's right, that's right. That's, that's right. the only way we've been able to move forward. You see, I'm talking about personal logic. Excuse me, I have a call from Mr. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, mm -hmm. the thing that they don't expect us is a very different thing. Yes. Mr. So Mustafa, you were saying um, he's an insider then? Um, actually, I haven't concluded. It's possible that some good ones who thought he has money. What? 
So, well, um, I trust your judgment. And um, if there is anything you really need to track down the perpetrators, do not hesitate to ask. And uh, should I not be around, Dr. Tambo is here. We'll give you all your other assistance you need. By the way, um, I have to go for a little right away. Excuse me, thank you. It right away. No, 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 it is the exact amount. No, no, no. You did not ask for that amount. <laughs> Guria D. Why don't you learn to appreciate the little things you are given? Because only then can you get bigger things. <laughs> All right, sir. Look, I have to get back to work. I'll call you as soon as I'm through, okay? All right, sir, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Mm. Philip. Sir. How many times do I have to tell you that you need to conceal whatever it is you're bringing into my office? Do you want the entire office to know that I'm starting my own conglomerate? I'm very sorry, sir. I did not know that the printer put the stuff in a transparent nylon. Yes, and speaking of the printer, didn't I tell him to put CEO on my complimentary card and MD on Guri's? Guri? Yes. Guri Adi. My first song. Come a guy. Guys, this is the soon to be CEO of Fedego Holdings. Am I correct? You can see that again in Mecca. This guy arranged by some as they do, you know. Just calm down. What did I do? That's what Ellen are getting on to in public. So, brother, live your life according to the teachings of God, and He will never depart from you. Thank you, Dickie. God bless you. Bless you. Sire, is everything all right? No, Dad. Nothing is all right, Dad. Daddy, I'm tired of sitting at home. It's been five years now. All my peers are in school and ready to graduate. Dad, you've got to do something. Do what, Josiah? I don't know, Dad. You have written the entrance exam five times. And five times you have failed, Josiah. What do you want me to do? You have to pass your exams to enter the university. All we can do is to pray for God's guidance so that you can pass the next exam. Pray? Daddy, heaven help those who have themselves. That's what they say. That's why I said you should give me money. Let me say to these exam officials once and for all. But you keep dragging Shut the issue. Your mouth. What is the meaning of that? May the Lord rebuke you. Listen, sometimes, Josiah, I wonder if I'm actually your father. Or whether you learned anything from what I've taught you. The next time such a thought comes into your mind, tell the devil to get behind you. Now go to the house. 
for daddy. First of all, Mrs. Shelley, I would like you to know that people of your age are no longer accepted into the banking industry, the position which we have put you in. And so age shouldn't be a barrier to your working hard. Unless, of course, you wouldn't want to retain your position. And if that is the case, I'm sure you are aware that there are thousands of unemployed and younger graduates who would gladly fill your position. But the men sexually harassed me. They were making passes at me as if I was there for something else and not marketing. Oh, is that so? Really? I'm sure you would have wanted them to um, uh, show some respect to your wedding ring at least, huh? Mm. Madam, the forms have been completed. Oh, thank you very much, Adiza. Put them there. Hadiza hmm. hasn't been in the bag for too long. But she has been able to make her target. And she's up for promotion. Look, Mrs. Shenny. Perhaps I fail to familiarize you with the staff handbook of the new Bank of Nigeria. If so, allow me to put it in plain and simple English. I did not get to the position of general manager of this bank through jitters and half measures. I got here through hard work and determination. In other words, Mrs. Shenny, I do not care how you get them to put their monies into this bank. Whether it is with your beauty, your brains, or your body. If you do not meet your target within four months, I will not hesitate to dismiss you. Dismissed. The Bible says money answered all things. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know, I didn't know that Jemima has become a Christian. <laughs> no, no, Dr. Tabu. With the ton of politics these days, one needs to be familiar with both religions. You can say that again. Uh, yeah. Reverend Jemima. Yeah. The G.O. <laughs> yes. uh, you should have seen the expression on the man's face. When, when I landed the check on his lap, for a moment I had everything. <laughs> what is she very careful saying? <laughs> Who in this present dispensation would turn down such a huge amount? Oh, except my dead father. Oh, come on. I have come with your humor again. Poverty is a cause. You can say that again. <laughs> so, <laughs> to the future. To the future. To the future. You know, um, I hear people say that. Uh, the future belongs to our children. But I say the future starts with us. Yes. So to us. To, to us. us. <laughs> please drink, please drink, please drink. drink. Oh. Yeah. oh. My daughter tell me. Tell her, have you met my colleagues? Yes, I have them. I know Mika's father. Oh, she knows your son. Yes. 
a very brilliant girl. Like her father. <laughs> but I, I think um, she should marry my son in the canal. What do you think? Ah, I think, uh, I think castration. <laughs> Well, well uh, in that case, I think I'll tell my son. I'll advise my son to stay. Please, please, please. Gentlemen, really? Yes. Yes. Madam. Madam Chibu. All right. All right. Thank you very much. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. to tell you this earlier in the day. Do you know that Josiah completely ruined my whole day today? Margaret, can you imagine Josiah talking like a child that was not brought up in a Christian home? Josiah asked me to give him money to bribe officials. I'm just wondering where it is that I went wrong in bringing up the only child that God has given me. Uh, but, uh, <clears throat> Chidi, if I um, remember correctly, even the Bible instructs us to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. So I don't know why you're so upset. Huh? Margaret. What are you driving at? Come on, Chidi. I mean, I'm just saying, a little wisdom here and there will not hurt. Come to think about it. Out of all the leaders in church, your own son is yet to gain admission into the oh, Hold on, Margaret. So, so what are you saying? Are you, are you saying that I should... All I'm trying to say, Chidi, is that you and I know that Everything in this country has a price tag. Be it Wayek, Jam, SSC, and NCE, what have you. So I don't think it would be a sin if you give what is rightfully theirs and let your only son go to school. Jesus Christ. Margaret. Do you, do you realize what? May the Lord rebuke you. It is you the Lord rebuke for holding the future of our only child in your hands. Because I know that the Lord will not descend from his throne to talk to you. He would use human beings like me, like the WASP official, JAM official to come and talk to you, Archdeacon. Margaret? Margaret, do you realize what you have just said? God of mercy, I can't be... You, the wife of an archdeacon? Oh, Father Lord, the devil has invaded my home. Listen, let me tell you, Margaret. I have said this before. And I will not say it again. You hear me? Even if it takes 10 years, 10 whole years, for that boy to pass his exams into the university, we will wait for it. And I said no. No. Son will not become a mockery in 
this entire neighborhood. No! Excuse me. Margaret! Jesus Christ. Margaret, do you... I... you... you... I'm not in the mood, please. You're not in the mood. You are not, you're never in the mood. Since you got this bank job, you have not been in the mood. Do you think I'm a piece of wood? No. And neither am I a sex toy that you can play with whenever it pleases you. I am also human and I get tired too. Look, you have always been tired in recent times. And you have remained jobless in recent times. You have not had a job in three years. I have been forced to take up two responsibilities. A father and a mother. Oh no, three. A father, a mother and a worker. And yet you expect me to come back from work and give you my body so that you can do whatever you please with? Oh, for crying out loud. Look, I am your husband. And the Bible tells me that the wife should be submissive to her husband. That same Bible tells me that a man who does not work must not eat. How about that? Up this late. So I think this is a very good idea. It will be like giving back to the community. But my problem is the scholarship and the things we tend to do for the community will they appreciate it. Because the truth of the matter is that most of them do not believe in education. And sponsoring their children's life so into the wind. Mr. Awa, I really understand your point of view, but mind you that. They are not the ones sponsoring these children. It is BMG Oil and Gas. And also have it in your mind that we will also add cash. Uh, permit me to add this, Mr. James. Since this will be going down in history, why don't we have the press cover the entire event? That's a brilliant one. I can picture it. BMG Oil and Gas stands out. <laughs> That's a brilliant one, though. So, Mr. Color Feathergo, why don't you handle this? I am. Uh, <laughs> well, it, it would be a lot of responsibility, sir. Uh, but I, I would be honored to do it. <laughs> I know. And that's why I am assigning it to you, coupled with the fact that you are the director in charge of media and PR. I know you do it very well. <laughs> you chose her over me and you got what you deserved. You, you know, I, I can never embarrass you the way Thelma Tambo embarrassed you the other day at the canton. Yet, you still went ahead to beg her, right? Who said I beg oh, her? please, don't even lie, don't! Have you forgotten a best friend's sister is my roommate? Gori, you, you, you needed to have heard how Thelma and Jojo made a mockery of you. It was a shame. Jessica, enough of this canton scene. You're creating a scene here and you know that. Really? What is wrong with you? See, let's talk about ourselves, okay? Let's talk about us. So, are you spending the night with me? Let me know. Are you breaking up with Thelma? Uh, 
I understand. You'd rather mingle with, with, with the daughter of a man who walks in the corridors of power than, than with me, the daughter of a nobody, right? Come on, Jester, quit playing the victim. You know why we broke up. And why did we break it? Jester, you and I know that even the dumbest man alive wouldn't want his girlfriend to cheat oh, on him. Oh, Christ, Gory. You of all people should know why I decided. Don't make excuses here. I, okay, you see, I know you want to say that so that you can pay your bills. But come on, that's not enough reason for you to do that as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. So, are you spending the night? You know what, Gori? It, it just occurred to me that you're no better than the man who wants my body in exchange for money. You, 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 you're even worse off. In the sense that you have nothing to offer, love or money. Nothing. See, Jessica, tell me exactly what do you want from me? Tell me. Hmm? Just take me back to my hostel. Bye bye. bye. Would you stop looking at me like that? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. <laughs> Mary the madam. What's up now? Show how are you? Fine, dear. <laughs> I can see the two of you have started getting a <laughs> You wish. What's up now? Where have you been? Each time I see her, my heart skips a beat. Yet today, you never stop making me laugh. Seriously, I am fed up. Look at what happened to your children's education. When you and your husband had no job. And you know how long it took you to get that job. If it wasn't for my elder brother, you probably wouldn't have been employed there. <laughs> so my dear, I think it is best you go out there and make the target. You're talking as if I don't want to make the target. Listen, if not for anything, for the sake of my children, for their future. But I don't know anyone who has that huge amount of money. Not to talk of coming to put it in my bank. Why did I invite you here? Why did I invite you here? I know someone who can. Really? And he's on his way to Abuja. Let me call him. Hello? Oh, you're on your way? Okay, please, we are waiting. He's coming. Oh, oh that <laughs> <laughs> oh, good to see you. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. This is Dr. Tambo. This is Yetunde, my friend, who works in a bank. Okay. Oh, the one you talked to me yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. How do you? Good afternoon. You sir. didn't tell me she was so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. How are you? I'm Yetunde? fine. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. So tell me, um, why do you want me to open an account with your bank? Actually, her bank has a lot to offer. And you inclusive. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Let me get something over there. Oh, I'm done, you, sir. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> That's lovely. It's good to meet you. Okay. You know what? Um, I'm actually traveling. I'm going to Abuja, okay? Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, call me on this number right. and let's see how we can be of help to each other. Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? I am Dr. Tambo. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Five years, I have roamed the streets of Lagos looking for a job. And everywhere I go, it is either that I am overqualified or I am underqualified. I have prayed. I have fasted. And now you're beginning to lose hope. Hmm? I am. People are even mocking me and laughing at me. 
Some people ask me, where is my God? Sometimes I even wonder if he hears me. Brother Peter, you may think that God has forgotten you. You may think that, you know, time is limited. God that does not sleep, nor slumber. And if you remember the teaching of the Bible, Joshua 1, verse 9, he said, Be strong and of good courage. Be not dismayed, for I, thy God, is with thee. Is with thee. I tell you something, brother Peter. There's time for everything. There is time for everything under the sun. Just be strong and of good courage. Thank you, Deacon. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? I'm back to school. Oh, you came back. I hope you also came back with the money. money huh? Yes, I did. And I hope that someday soon, I'll be able to prove to all of you that I never spent the money. Jojo, won't you say hi to your only sister? Shiun. Shiun. Oluwa Shiun. How many times did I call you? Three times. Just take a look at yourself. No, look at yourself. Stop dressing like an SU. I'll disown you in this school. Oh. But that is what I am. An SU. And I'm not scared of showing it. So where are you headed? To the Faculty of Arts. Has any of you seen Josita today? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Don't tell me you still move with that thing. Need I remind you that that thing, as you call her, is my roommate? Oh. Okay. <laughs> that girl that doesn't even know her beer and <laughs> That's your own opinion. But you know, in a kind of way, both of you are alike. God bless you and be with you. And you too. And you too. <laughs> hey! 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 We see that right, dude. That right. I say, you go. Die, your bed do not die. A trip. It's tight. What's happening? We just do so. We wait to wait the guy. Where would the go? Yo, yo. What's up? I'm okay. My people, my prayer now, now, now. For to thank BMD people, them. Ine enough BMD oil and gas. Ah, see 
me now. See what they do for me and my family. Hmm? They give me plenty ego to start in my business. Hey. Ah, God go do now well well. Eh? Okay now look who will be empty. Eh? Oh. That's how I had to write Wayek over and over again for five years. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I'm just starting another level at this age. <laughs> it's not my fault though, not my fault. You see, at a point, I thought Wayek officials knew me so well and probably didn't like my face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm serious guys, I'm serious. Okay, haven't you heard of a guy who wrote Wayek for seven years and each time the result came out, he failed. Then he made up his mind not to write Wayek ever again. And that year, they still sent him a letter telling him he's failed again. <laughs> ah, because I wonder when he even sat for the exams. Service to his father. What did you say your father does? Oh, my dad, <laughs> that one. He's a clergyman. He's a clergyman. As I speak to you right now, he's probably on his knees asking God to have mercy on his son, me. That's all he ever does. <laughs> This guy, you're so close. Ah! Ah! Me, you're something else. You know something, boy? You really don't fit into the criteria of Club 4 or 5 members. Yeah. You don't even have a car or a collector to start with. But for you, I will bend the rules. I like you. Congratulations, you're welcome to Club 405 members. Yes! 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes! <laughs> Remember, he's a smart kid. Yes. Yes! Well, somebody should get him a glass oh, so he can sip all this wine. Yes! <laughs> This is impressive. And um, you seem like the kind of young man we need in this establishment. Um, Peter Akoso. Peter Akoso. Hmm, Peter Akoso. You seem like a bright young man. But um, I don't know how efficient you are. I'm, I'm very efficient, ma. Extremely efficient. You know, in situations like this, we wouldn't want to train you and then you disappoint us. But I will never disappoint you, Ma. I promise I will never. Hmm? I see. Well, now, uh, <laughs> Peter. Excuse me, ma. <sighs> Let me put it this way, Peter. If you uh, play ball, the sky won't even be your limit. Where are you going to? I am off to find a company that wants an employee instead of a handyman. Are you turning down this job? If this is what it entails, madam, then yes! But you need this job. That I need the job. Yes, I agree. But you, madam, need something much more important. And what might that be? You need Christ! Is 
That's not the man who came for the job interview. Yes. He doesn't look too happy. Oh, didn't he get the job? He didn't earn it. And speaking of earning, I hope you're aware that your days are numbered in this office if you do not make your target. This is just a token of their appreciation. I am indeed glad that they appreciated our contribution. <laughs> well, that is an understatement, sir. The village chief even insisted on throwing a party for me, but I refused. <laughs> the bush meat is in the boot of my car. Once we get downstairs, I'll hand them over. <laughs> <laughs> if I had given the chiefs and the villagers a chance, they would have packed everything they could into my boot. Can you even imagine one of them suggesting that they give us three young virgins in appreciation? Three young virgins? Are you serious? Ah. Oh. <laughs> 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 Indeed, that's a well done job. Indeed, you're job. This is money. You know what that? We'll post Thelma and the rest to shame by the time we pay our dues even before they do. She'll be so surprised. Uh, you know, hey. these men, they have no respect for money, I swear. They don't. Sometimes I wonder how these men make their money. See the way they were just spraying. Spraying. <laughs> spraying like no man's business. <laughs> What's going on? Hey. Welcome. Why are you looking like you just saw a ghost? Of course we did. Stand right in front of us. I thought your bad tongue had closing eyes. I guess I thought wrong. Hey, see, 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 not today, please. Look, I'm tired of you two fighting like cats and dogs. May you go to your room, please. She needs a life for Just. You need a life and you need price. Bye. Huh. Jessita, I thought you were willing to live this life. No, no, listen, listen. Uh, I am not in the mood to talk now. Yes, I cannot. Uh, I... I'm in the middle of a very important meeting. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Uh, call me tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Okay. Well, very well then. Let's talk about the proposed uh, celebration for most of us who will be graduating this year. So guys, how much do we think of the native? How about 10,000 Naira each? Yeah, 10 is cool. Mm, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. 10,000 Naira is a mega sum as far as I am concerned. That is the amount other club members would most likely donate. Which means we'll be having the amount of fun they are having. And what is wrong with that if I may ask? What? Look! Club 405 was originally created in a quest for something unique and classy. So I believe we should stand out in whatever we do. But we could still stand out. See, I mean, 10,000 naira each is enough. And 20,000 naira each. It's not too much either. See, after all, Club 405 was created for classy people and not social miscreants who find it very hard to donate a sum as little as 20,000 naira. Besides, it's a once in a lifetime celebration. Uh, yeah, well guys, um, I think um, we have to conclude on this issue next week. Yeah. 
as a tease. Okay? So for now it's a wrap. Um, uh, thank you very much. I'll see you later. Oh, so, sorry. I'll see you later. Later, please. Let's go. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Yep. Sir, I just want to say thank you for your support and your prayer, sir. Oh, we thank God, madam. We thank God. Sir, please, sir, please. Please, once, thank you. No, no, please. <laughs> I cannot receive this from you, madam. Please. Huh? Because if I do, it would look like taking glory for what. God has done no, for you. It's just a token no, to no, say that. Please don't. Please keep it. Put it away, please. The only way you can make me happy is to take this to the house of God. Even if it's your own church. Yes, sir. Mm? But I cannot accept it from you. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. No, no, get Thank up, madam. Please, 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 get up. God bless you. God bless you, God bless you. I have to go now. Okay. Um, let me leave you. Okay, dear. So, my dear, how is your family? Fine, thank you. Yes. <laughs> how is the children? They are fine, they are fine. I'm so sorry. I thank God for what God has done for you, honestly. We're so grateful. Um, um, madam, you see, um, <laughs> you know the talk my husband just uh, refused. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know men and their policies. You know how they are. <laughs> Uh, acting like everything is okay when actually nothing is fine. Um, what I'm trying to say is, you know, since I'm the wife, I don't mind taking that token on his behalf. You understand? He's too shy. You know how our men are? Very shy. They don't want to feel like they are taking money in the front. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. So grateful. Thank you very much. So see you in church. I will. Okay. Take care of everybody. Are you okay? Bye. I just give my food. I'll be here and be drinking that. Good day, sir. Are you bringing balance? I'm not here, sir. I'm not here, sir. Please, can I have a shield? Thank you. Let me have your matric number and your phone names. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be sure that you know you. The more you be collecting, I'm going to be sharing. I'm going to see Dr. Ellips, Dr. Sibyl. Um, I come to you as a friend. What I saw in that office was utterly disgusting. You see, I wonder how your conscience permits you to live with all these practices. See, you sell handouts to students at exorbitant rates. As if that is not enough. You ask them to give you money in exchange for points. How bad, Dr. Sibyl? It's unfair. Miss Alice, what do you understand by the word unfair? I've been a lecturer long enough to know that that word unfair does not exist. <laughs> and if it does, our living conditions as lecturers will have been improved upon. And there won't have been any need for all this. That is not enough justification. And you know it. Because there are better ways of addressing it. And not by this personal vendetta. You see, at this attitude will only lead to a generation of half-baked and mediocre 
professionals. Which is not good for any developing nation or growing nation just like ours. I'm sure you will realize it in due course. I'm talking to you as a friend. Are you true? <laughs> well, I'm true. This long. A little more weight will do you no harm. Yes, sir. Let me pray for you, brother. God, I have Please, sir. Please, God. We need that account, sir. Chief, we need you to open that account with our bank. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. As soon as I get to the office, I'll get one of my colleagues to get the form across to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Really, Mom? What is wrong with getting me a car? Me? Really? What is wrong with it? Not a game, Jojo. What is wrong is that you're coveting someone else's life, and that is not too good at this age. At what age would you prefer me to want a good life, Mom? When I'm old and worn out, don't you talk to me like that. Mom, really, why are we making a fuss out of this whole thing? All I asked for was just a car. And all I am trying to explain to you is that I cannot afford a car now. Oh, mom, they give you loans in your bank. You said so. You know something, Jojo? I must leave now. Before you retake your father. Whatever. The devil is trying to use my household against me. But I put it to you, Margaret, that the devil has failed because I will not go out of my way to get money for, 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 for some frivolities. It is not frivolities. Just because you did not have an interesting childhood does not mean that our only child wouldn't have one. What has that got to do with what we're talking about? What, what, what rubbish are you talking about? The fact that you were deprived. The fact that you were locked up in some hole all in the name of becoming a dick does not mean that you, Chidi, will subject your entire family to becoming one. You are talking to me like that, Margaret. Are you talking to me like that? You power three thirty thousand naira, Chidi. Thirty thousand for so, so, some stupid, meaningless school clock. It might be meaningless to you. But it is not to him. Chidi, why can't you understand? There are moments that you cannot take back once it is gone. So please, this is his time. And he's our only child. Let us do all that we can to make his stay in school worth the while. That is all I ask. Listen to yourself. Let me tell you, for the last time, Margaret, I will not go out of my way to get money or steal because you and your son want the best things of life. You hear me? 30,000. Stupid, meaningless.
It's okay. But will you be going straight to the hostel or you'll be coming back home? I'll come back home. Beautiful. Keep on. Olua Shem, come back here. Don't you think you should change your skirt? What is wrong with it, Mom? I have told you severally that appearances tell a lot about who you are. You look like a house girl. Hey, get in there. Please leave this girl alone. Let her be. If she wants to dress like this, so be it. Besides, I think she looks gorgeous. Uh, Mom, can I use your phone? I've exhausted the credit on my phone. Oh, sorry. Oluwa Sheni, do not cut me short. The next time I am scolding Sheni. And you should stop trying to influence her. I am a mother, and that is what mothers are meant to do. I hear you. Sweet, just sweet. I am so sweet. Tomorrow, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. You're so sweet. I know. Daddy, Daddy, I'm home. You? I never knew your bank held meetings on Saturdays. Well, now you know. And I am almost late. Mom, don't you think you're forgetting something? Oops, my phone. The new kid on the block. <laughs> His name is Peter Akoso and he's uh, Ogas new PA. Really? Good day, sir. <laughs> it's good to see you. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. You. you are welcome. Good. You are welcome. Yes, sir. So, uh, what's your discipline? Uh, computer engineering, sir. Ah, computer engineering. Remember we yes. mentioned yes. it at the board. Yeah? That's good. That's good. What school? Lampard University, sir. Lampard? My daughter is there. You know, tell me. Yes, yes, yes. She's in her fourth year. I'm sure you might have met her. Uh, I, I don't think so, sir. I graduated five years ago, sir. Five years ago? <laughs> this one is old school. <laughs> I hope that uh, <laughs> you will be of uh, good behavior. To us. <laughs> Definitely, sir. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. So, um, whenever she comes, we'll talk about yes, it. Yes, sir. All right, have a nice day. Uh, Peter. Thank you, sir. Okay. Margaret. Margaret. Yeah? Where is the money I kept in the side drawer? I'm talking to you, Margaret. Listen, I am not joking this time. That money is my tithe for the month. Where is it? I sent it to your son's school. Jesus Christ. Look, I have had enough of this, your, your strange behavior. You hear me? And I'm going to tell the elders of the church this. Don't go there. Don't even think about it. Because if you do, then I'll tell them of our little secret. And of course, you can imagine what the bishop would say if and when he hears it.
Why aren't you in bed? I hope there's a problem. You might want to sit down. It's not a car accident. But Jojo, I told you already. I am not going to buy any car. You buy that car. Are you crazy? Mommy sits. No. But I know Daddy will go crazy when he finds out the truth about Romitons. Hotel the Exposé. 23 Island Road. Let's meet there and you make me feel like you always do. Did I get your address? It's only a token of my appreciation for your prayers, Deacon. <laughs> yes, Deacon. I have paid my tithes already. God bless you too. Peter! <laughs> sir. Oh, sir. Oh, please sit. Uh, Peter. You've been with us for quite some time now. But it does appear as though uh, you are yet to come to terms with the rudiments of the job. Why have you refused to sign these papers? May I, sir? Oh, please go ahead. Um, sir, the papers here say that the contractor question has completed his job so the papers say so the truth is the contractor hasn't finished the job and uh, if I were to sign over money to him when he hasn't completed the job it would be a breach of contract between him and the government <laughs> Peter, 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 Peter. Peter. You know what, Peter? We are the government. Do not bother yourself about that, okay? Sign the papers. I'm sorry, Dr. Tambo, but I cannot sign that a contractor has actually finished the road construction when the truth is he hasn't even started it's it's unethical and unprofessional unethical unprofessional in other words you will not sign the papers huh i'm sorry sir but i I cannot sign it until I know that the road, all the roads given to him are actually completed. Peter, I have been in this system for over a decade. And in all of these years, no one has challenged my authority. No one. Why have you refused to play ball, Peter? Why have you elected to be the old one out? Why? Sir, I don't mean to offend anybody, but my Christian faith is completely against all this forgery and post workers and everything that goes on in this place, sir. Look, look around you, Peter. Do you find inscriptions of, of, of holiness? 
righteousness anywhere in this institution? Does this office look like a church auditorium to you where you practice your holiness and righteousness, Peter? Sir, with all due respect, I will not sign these papers until the job is done. Peter. Peter, Peter. Like the biblical Peter, who denied Jesus three times. You deny me. You know what, Peter? You remember the adage that says the head that breaks a coconut never lives to eat it. Have a good day, Peter. Uh-uh. 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 Me and me 